vectoring, a system that allows the blast of hot gases coming out of the engine to be pointed in different directions. This allows the aircraft to change direction much more rapidly than conventionally powered fighters. Thrust vectoring was pioneered on the X-31, a NASA research plane built by Rockwell. The X-31 put on a dazzling display of thrust vectoring capabilities at the Paris Air Show in 1995. Most people at the air show in Paris when they first saw that thought the airplane was going to crash. And then it just flies right on out and goes and does another maneuver. These people had never seen it were just in awe. The X-31 helped pave the way for the F-A-22 Raptor's use of the thrust vectoring concept. The maneuverability of the F-A-22 in a dogfight is such that um, if, you're, if you're in the merge um, and you're doing that spiraling telephone pole of death, you know, where you're going down, descending, losing altitude, and trying to outturn the other guy, uh, with the F-A-22, with that thrust vectoring, it allows you to flap, put the nose right at the guy, and fire a missile and, and, and end the engagement. You initially try to start fighting just like you did in an F-15, and then you start to realize what capabilities you have and what limitations no longer apply to you. So you adapt real quickly, but it doesn't take someone very long after a sortie or two coming from the 15 into the F-22. It's an awesome capability. The F-A-22 is also stealthier than any other jet fighter, including the F-117 stealth fighter, which represents an older generation of stealth technology. That's not very stealthy, right? But head on, you don't see much of the jet, and that's, and you don't have anything hanging on the wings to, to give your signature away. And so we like to say, beware of Raptors with open doors. You know, when the doors are open, that means that you're shooting something, and the doors open quick, shoot something, and close.